are you a youtuber or a video creator for your business then check out this cool automation that automatically bulk upload videos into your youtube channel and automatically handle the seo based title description hashtag and so on interesting right let's check it out here you can see that the scenario run was completed now let's go and check the youtube studio Inside the YouTube studio, you can see that all our YouTube videos has been successfully uploaded and scheduled in a time difference of 10 days. When you press this, you can see that cool video title description has been generated. And when you scroll down, you can see that hashtags cool, right? Hi, I'm Tishan and welcome to MSQ Automation Solution. Today, I'm here with a super trending topic that is how to automate the SEO task of your videos like video title, description, hashtag using OpenAI and how to auto upload bulk videos into your YouTube channel. Excited? Let's get started. In my previous video, I had demonstrated you how easily you can generate A videos and upload in Dropbox. This is my Dropbox and A video is my folder name. Inside my Dropbox, you can see that all the videos generated by AI. Now let's go to scenario part. This is make.com's scenarios interface and if you are new to make.com, don't worry guys, you can start with our magical link that will give you free pro plan. Now let's get back to the scenario. Here I am taking the starting module as Dropbox, list all files or folders in a folder and then the next step is that you need to take the connection. Once you take the connection, you can select the list as files or folders. Here I am choosing it as file. And here you can select the folder. My folder name is a uh, video. That's why I'm selecting this. And here you can set limit. One thing to remember is that YouTube itself has a limit to upload videos in a daily basis. Here I'm going to upload five videos. That's the reason I'm going to give the limit as five. Once it has been set up, I will press OK button. And guys, if you're a person who are uh, using Google Drive, then you can go with Google Drive. Here, I have used Dropbox as my data store to store all my age edited videos. That's the reason I'm starting it with Dropbox. If you want to start with Google Drive, you can put all your A videos inside the Google Drive and you can start with Google Drive's Watch Files module. I will show you. For that, you can press Add a module. And here, you can search for Google Drive. Here, you can see Watch All Files. Now, I'm going to start with my Dropbox module. Now we are going to take the increment function inside the tool. So we will go to tool and we will take the increment function. This will return a value of one after every run. Here, increment function plays an important role in our scenario because that it helps us to schedule the video to be published inside our YouTube. After the increment, what we are going to do is that we are going to create a share link for all the age generated videos inside our Dropbox. For that, we are going to use Dropbox Create or Update Share Link module. Here we'll take Dropbox Create or Update a Share Link module. And here you can choose the connection. And then you can see that there is a way of selecting files. Here you can select a file or folder. Then instead of click here to choose file, you can map this directly with the path display from our first module. So once this has been set, we can press the OK button. Now what we are going to do is that we are going to create automatic SEO works with the help of OpenAI. Now I'm going to take the OpenAI module. Here I'm going to select create a completion. Here you can select the model as GPT-40 system. Now here you can add the message and uh, I'm taking the role as, as user first. And here you need to pass the message content. I have already created a message content. So I'm going to copy this and paste here. Here you can see that I have passed a message content and instead of source, I'm going to map this with my name. Here I have told to ChatGPT that I need the output in a JSON manner along with a good title, description and hashtag. Now I'm going to add another message and I'm setting the role as assistant. Here I'm going to tell my chat GPT that I need this to be only in JSON format. For that I'm going to tell create. 
and this is the example I am going to pass. And once it has been set up, you can press the OK. And next is that you need to set the maximum token. I am going to set it as 500. Now let's try this. For that, what I am going to do is that I am cloning this. And I am cloning our OpenAI module. Here I am setting the limit as 1. And here instead of name, I am passing this name here. And now let's try this. Here you can see that in recent, this has been generated in a JSON format title, description, hashtag. Cool, right? Now let's copy this. Let's delete this one. So I have told to my OpenAI that I need to generate this output in JSON format. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to select the past JSON module. For that, I'm going to search JSON. And inside JSON, I'm going to select past JSON. Here inside the JSON string, you can map the result from OpenAI. You can run this by pasting the result of my OpenAI. Here you can see that title, description, hashtags has been successfully generated. Now what we are going to do is that we are going to take a router. For that I am going to tool and I am going to select a router. After the router, I am going to select two YouTube module. Here you can see that after the router, there are two YouTube modules. One is Mscale's YouTube native module. Another one is Make.com's native module. In this system, I am going with our custom module because it has more advantage as compared to Make.com. In our YouTube module, you can directly pass the video URL, but in the case of made.com's YouTube module, first you need to download the video and then you need to pass it as data into YouTube module. We know that we will have a data transfer limit of 5 GB for 10,000 operation. Once we reach the data limit, then we need to purchase more operation. That's the reason I am going with our custom YouTube module. Now inside our YouTube module, first thing you need to do is that you need to take connection. For that, you need to pass the MSQL validation API key. Here, I have already taken a connection for my YouTube account. I will select the upload method as video URL. Here, you can pass the video URL directly from our share link. Now, inside snippet, you can see video title, video category, video description, and video tags. Here, you can pass this from your JSON module. Inside of video title, I am going to pass the title here and inside of video category, you can select the video category from here. Here I am going to select it as film and animation and here you can see that video tags and what we are going to do is that we are going to map this from our JSON. We will pass the hashtags here and next you can see that video description. You can pass the description from your past JSON here. And when you scroll down, here you can see that there is a privacy status. You can set the privacy status as private. Now, here we need to give the schedule publish time. Here I am passing this formula. This will uh, decide when your video need to be scheduled. If a person who need to upload videos into your YouTube channel in a time difference of 10 days, you can apply this formula. If you want to schedule a time difference of 4, instead of 10, you can pass it as 4. This is the increment function. Once this has been set, you can press the OK button. Then, in order to stop the duplication of videos to be uploaded inside your YouTube channel, you need to move that video once you upload into YouTube into another folder. For that, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to use Dropbox Move a Folder module, Move a File of Folder module. And here, you need to take the connection. Here, you can select a file of folder. And here you can map this as the path display from your first module. And here 
this is the destination folder here in my dropbox i have already created a folder known as ai move video mode so once the video get uploaded into youtube this you video will automatically get moved into a video moved folder and here you can set the name here i am setting the same name itself and i will press ok now the first workflow has been successfully created if you want to go with mix youtube module then you can go with the second router for that you need to first download that video for that you can uh, select add a module and go for dropbox download a file here you can uh, select a file and here instead of this you can map this with the path display and you can press ok when you open the youtube module you can see that you can pass the title and here you can uh, go for this so you can map with file name or data and you can select the video category you can set the privacy status and yeah you can also decide the time which your video need to be published and once this has been done you can move this to another folder as i have explained in the first router so i am going with my first router so i am going to disable this now let's run the scenario here you can see that the scenario run was completed now let's go and check the youtube studio inside the youtube studio you can see that all our youtube videos has been successfully uploaded and scheduled in a time difference of 10 days when you press this you can see that cool video title description has been generated and when you scroll down you can see that hashtags cool right with the help of this scenario you can upload videos into your youtube channel automatically along with automatic seo works like title description and hashtags if you found this video helpful please like share and subscribe for more content once again thank you for watching and we will see you in next video